Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A common task in the legal profession is creating a legal black line document. When creating a legal black line document, which is also often called redlining or comparing documents, you examine two documents in Microsoft Word to show only the content that has changed between the two copies in a third separate document. Many legal professionals use this feature when reviewing contracts to note the revisions made between two copies of a contract. This lets you create and compare multiple copies of a legal document and note changes between the original, the first draft, the second draft, and so on. This helps because it lets you keep all copies of the drafts for historical purposes, showing the changes made and who requested the changes. This lesson shows you how to use the Compare feature of Microsoft Word to create a legal blackline document. To compare documents in Word, first open the two documents to compare in Microsoft Word. Next, click the Review tab in the ribbon. Then click the Compare drop-down button in the Compare button group. Then select the Compare command from the Buttons drop-down menu to open the Compare Documents dialog box. In the Compare Documents dialog box, select the name of the original document from the Original Document drop-down menu. If you did not open the original document before opening the Compare Documents dialog box, you can still select it by either clicking the Open button, which looks like a folder icon at the right end of the drop-down menu, or by selecting the Browse command from the drop-down menu's choices. Microsoft Word then launches the Open dialog box, which you can use to browse for and then open the original document. After selecting the original document, then use the Revised Document drop-down to select the name of the revised copy of the document from the drop-down menu. You can also use the Open button or the Browse command with the Revised Document drop-down too, just like you could use them with the Original Document drop-down if you did not open the Revised document before opening the Compare Documents dialog box. Next, underneath the Revised Document drop-down, Enter the name to use to label changes in the resultant legal blackline document into the label changes with field if needed. It defaults to the username assigned to the copy of Microsoft Word, but you can change it when creating the legal blackline document if needed. Then click the More button to show a list of all the options to use when creating the legal blackline document at the bottom of the dialog box. Any changes you make here are saved as the new default options when creating a legal blackline document in the future. By default, Word shows the changes on a Word level in a new document. These are the recommended options. However, you can change them if needed. After reviewing the settings, click the Less button to set the options and hide them again. Then click the OK button in the Compare Documents dialog box to compare the documents and create the resultant legal blackline document in Microsoft Word. The original document and the revised document appear at the right side of the screen. The compared document appears in the center of the screen. Any revisions appear in the revisions pane at the left side of the screen. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.